Hello, welcome to Dutra Sefford Wayne. Today we're going to be installing this Bell & Howe outdoor floodlight uh, that is solar powered. Uh, we'll be taking this one down. Now we purchased this one. We did a video about this one. We purchased it at Harbor Freight. And um, it worked for a couple months or so and then just kind of faded where it didn't work good. Then it didn't work at all. Um, there's a, we did a video about it. And if you're interested in more about the one from Harbor Freight, uh, we'll put a link in the bottom for the, that video, and there'll be details in the description for it. A little more about our experiences with the one from Harbor Freight. But we'll be taking this one down, and we'll be installing this one from Bell & Howell. At this point, I've removed my old light, and I'm ready to install the, the new one. And the first thing you do is you install the little base, and I'm going to try and use at least one of the old holes that I used before. So I'm going to mount it right there like that. I'll have to make a couple of new holes, but uh, well, that'll be alright I guess. Alright, that'll be sufficient to hold it. And now we're going to mount it. And I've already found out something that I don't like about this light, so stay tuned for that. Now at this point, to mount the light, after you got the base attached wherever, this part just screws onto that. Very easy to screw on there. And then you aim it where you want it aimed. Now one thing that I don't like is I want my light turned that away. But see where the solar panel's at? You can only adjust it this way. Mosquitoes. Okay? I need my solar panel pointed that way. But the only way I can get it pointed that way is if I put my light over this way, and then I can point the solar panel where I want it. But I don't want the light pointed that way. The light needs to point this way. So, I'm going to turn it around, point the light where I want it, and I'm going to tilt this back as far as it'll go, because although that's not the best angle to get sunlight to the solar panel, it's the best I can do and have the light pointed where I want it. Now, with the one that I got from Harbor Freight, the one that's up here before, the solar panel was separate from the light made it a lot easier to get your solar panel aimed in the optimal direction. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and go with this. It is turned on at this point. Um, if you read the box, it does not tell you how bright the light is. It doesn't tell you how many lumens or anything like that. It just says a bunch of light, a bunch of LEDs. <laughs> it says it's waterproof. Well, it's, it's for outdoor use. It's got to be waterproof. Um, solar powered. Um, doesn't say a lot more. It does come with a stake where you can put it in the ground if you want it, you know, that at ground level. Uh, I tested that. It worked just fine, but it's, um, it's pretty cheap, but it, it works. It would work fine for you. Uh, I, but I really don't like the way the solar panel mounts. And uh, as I said, as time goes on, we'll add to the description more details about how we feel about this over time, how well it works over time, and that sort of thing. So now we're just going to let it sit here for a while to let it charge up as best it will, and then we'll see how it does at night. Now here I am out here the next day, and I came out here last night, and unfortunately I can't really do video at night because it doesn't show up well, but the light did work. Uh, it says it will detect up to 25 feet. It doesn't say it will detect at 25 feet. It says up to 25 feet. And uh, it probably detected me at maybe 15 feet. Maybe, maybe 20 would be stretching it a little bit, but it did work. And that's the important thing. It did work. Uh, the light uh, is sufficient for what I'm doing. I need to adjust it a little bit, but it is sufficient. So uh, at the price point, I gave $20 for this at one of the big box stores. I think it's a good value, but it does have things I don't like. Uh, 
first off, the light doesn't spread out enough. Uh, just below here is where the door is at for my building, and I have a combination lock on it. So at night, I need to be able to see the numbers on the combination lock so I can unlock my building. So I don't, I can't have my light pointed like this because it doesn't light up the lock well. So I'll loosen it up. I'm going to point it down about like this. And that gives me a better angle to light up the lock on my building. The unfortunate thing is now my solar panel is pointed even further from where it needs to be pointed for optimum uh, charging of the battery. Uh, I really don't like that this solar panel isn't more adjustable. And now I've got an airplane flying over, but he'll pass in a minute. So anyway, the things I like, the things I don't like, it does work. I like that. And uh, I like that it's all self-enclosed. It's easy to install. It also comes with a stake where you can have it, you know, it placed in your in the ground somewhere if you choose to install it that way. Uh, things I don't like. It has no adjustments for the sensitivity of the motion detection. It has no adjustment for how long the light stays on once it comes on. Uh, it stays on for about 30 seconds after it no longer detects motion. As long as it's detecting motion, it will continue to stay on. But when there's no motion, you're not going to believe this, but a hummingbird just came over and looked at my camera. I wish it had been in front of the lens. That was cool. But anyway, as long as it's detecting motion, the light will stay on. Um, my problem is pointing it down. I don't have enough adjustment in the solar panel to get the solar panel pointed in the direction that it needs to be pointed and have the light pointed where the light needs to be pointed. Uh, there is some adjustment, but it's just not adequate for my situation. I think for a lot of people it would be sufficient, but it's not for me. So anyway, um, if you go to my website, which is uh, DIYWithWayne.com, I will post photos of the box, all four sides, if you're interested in reading more details about it. Uh, there's a little bit of an instruction manual that comes with it. I'll also post photos of that if you want to know more details about this particular product. Uh, if I post it in the video, it, it's just hard to read. So I'll put it on my website. It'll be there. Like I said, that's DIYWithWayne.com. And uh, going forward, uh, I guess most of you know, some may not, but I can't add to a video once it's been posted to YouTube. So if there's any comments that I want to add to this later, I'll have to put it in the description. If it works well over time, if it doesn't work over well over time, if I have more suggestions about how to use it or, or if it doesn't work over time, I will add that to the description in this below this video. And that's how you can find out more details about what I've learned over time. Uh, but anyway, I think it is a, a good value at $20. The one I had before was $30, but it had some of the features that I would like better. But you know, after a couple months or so, it didn't work any longer. I don't know if that's normal, but that's what happened to the one that I had. So anyway, that's it for my review of this Bell & Howell uh, outdoor solar powered security light. And if you like my uh, video, please click like on it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We would really appreciate that. And just like to say thank you for visiting. Do it yourself with Wayne and we hope you have a great day.